So today we're going to show you how we make our chassis look as good as new, like they just came from the factory. So today we're going to be fixing up the chassis for the old 40 series. Um, there's a few ways you can do this. You can use a sandblaster, a wire brush on the end of a drill, or you can use the old fashioned way, which is sanding it by hand. So we'll start off with sandblasting. Uh, we're not talking about taking it to a guy and getting them to sandblast it. We're talking about doing it yourself. So sandblasting is probably the easiest way to do it. It doesn't require much effort. You're not there with like a wire brush and sort of going at it for about five hours straight. Also what makes the sandblaster easy is that you can get in all the uh, cracks and stuff and really get all the rust and get rid of everything in all the corners and the hard to reach places. So there are a few downsides to this and that is it requires a pretty decent sized air compressor. The bigger the better, that way you can keep the airflow up to the end of the gun. Other thing is obviously you need a gun. There are two types you can really get for DIY. That is a gravity fed with sort of a feeder on top. And there is another one which we use, which has a hose on the very end, which goes into the bucket. That is probably the easiest way because you can just put about 10 kilos worth of sand in there and just, it will last pretty much the whole time. The other downside to this is you will make a mess. Sand will go absolutely everywhere. So best to do it outside or, um, you can do it on concrete and then actually uh, sweep it up and then reuse it. So what we use is sand. Um, you can go off and use some expensive proper sandblasting stuff, but we just go to Bunnings, get about 20 kilos worth of sand. It is the cheapest option. I believe it's like 20 bucks from Bunnings. Uh, only thing is you need to let it dry in a bucket. Um, if there's any moisture, it will end up jamming the end of the gun. So we're going to get started on the 40 series chassis and we're going to show you how we do it with the sandblaster and then we're going to finish off with the paint that we use. So before we start, we want to make sure the chassis is in a decent condition. There's no major rust points or anything like that that we need to fix up before we start. Um, you want to make sure you scrape off any extra dirt, any chunks of rust. You really want to make sure it's as clean as possible. Uh, there's not really a technique when it comes to sandblasting. It's pretty much sprayed until it turns silver or until you get all the rust off. If you don't think it's worth getting a sandblaster to do the chassis, uh, this also works really well on small hinges and other sort of metal parts of your build. Um, it basically makes it look brand new and then when you respray it, it just looks perfect. Also, we've now started making 70 series cup holders and we've got stickers as well, so if you want to check them out, link below. Once we finish sandblasting, it should look something like this. You can spend a bit more time on it to remove that rusty tinge, but we find that's a bit overkill. And when we compare it, you can see how much of a difference sandblasting actually does make. Moving on to the painting, we use rust guard epoxy enamel. This stuff is great, you don't need to do a primer or anything, you can just whack this straight on. We do about three coats on the chassis, uh, letting it dry in between each coat. And because it is epoxy, it will take about a day to fully cure. But during that time, the outside won't be sticky, so you won't have to worry about bugs landing on it and getting stuck in your paint job. 